Hey there, Mission Control. Well, uh, this is not the hab. We're inside the barn, and tonight, uh, you know, I just got done feeding all the critters. We got the two horses, well, the horse and mule down the end, our old horse uh, snips in the middle here, chickens, and the cows haven't come in yet. We moved the chickens inside, got a little door where they can go outside, and I thought they'd fly all over the barn, but <laughs> they're staying right in there. I'll be, I'll be darned. Anyway, tonight we are going to start on the cooler build, which is totally ironic because it's freezing outside. Uh, almost literally, it's about 2 uh, Celsius, uh, just about, what, 34, 30, 36 uh, Fahrenheit, right around there uh, tonight, and it is dropping, getting cold, so body's not totally used to it yet. i uh, got to get back my uh, heavy skin. Lord knows I've got the... Uh, winter fat on already, but uh, the body's still not used to it. So uh, we're going to get started on hopefully framing. I'd like to complete framing tonight. Uh, we'll see how far we get on the cooler itself. Uh, and then we're going to experiment. Big picture, we've got to play around with some different foam board sizes. I have inch and a half left over from when we uh, insulated the foundation of the building. I'm hoping I can use that. It might need some trimming. Uh, in order to make it work. Uh, my design was for half inch uh, to one inch, uh, but we'll see how well it goes. That way I don't have to go buy more because they're 17 bucks a year, uh, for the smaller size ones. So, and I already spent the money, but I just use what we have, right? So we're gonna play around with that. Uh, we're gonna play around with uh, hooking up the CoolBot, uh, which is the device that tricks the air conditioner uh, into running consistently. If you haven't seen CoolBots, go to their website uh, you can check them out. I'll put that description. Uh, there's a bit link down in my uh, description of this video. You can get to them uh, with that. But pretty cool system and saves a bunch of money uh, when it comes to cooling devices. You can go buy uh, a normal air conditioner and you put it in a window and you can trick it into being an actual refrigeration unit uh, if you buy the cool box. So pretty cool. Pun intended. Uh, and once we get it all put together, this will not all happen tonight, but kind of get the big picture. Once we get it all put back together, or put together for the first time, we'll actually do some electrical testing with it, make sure everything works. <clears throat> we'll get all the hinges, all the doors put in place. Then we'll lift it up into the, uh, the unit uh, and into the actual vehicle, make sure it all fits there. And then we'll seal the styrofoam or the foam board in place um, once we make sure everything fits and it all works and we'll wire up the vehicle and connect it all in. At that point, it should be done. So, uh, that's really big picture. My hands are freezing. I'm gonna need to get some working gloves. Uh, I always have a hard time finding good gloves that let your fingertips out. You can get <clears throat> good gloves to let your fingertips out, but they're the fuzzy, kind of like, you know, not really working gloves. I can't think of a good disparaging term to call them right now, but essentially they're not very manly. Um, and they tear really easy. They're nice and warm, but they don't really let you do real work. Uh, or you get kind of the uh, cut off fingers kind of, kind of rough, uh, but really don't keep your hands warm. At least I haven't found any. So I'm curious to know if you guys know of a good set of working gloves that expose the fingers probably at least the thumb and the index, but I'd prefer like at least these three so you can touch. Um, you guys have a lot of experience out there, so let me know, but yeah, uh, hard to work when your hands are cold, and you can tell with me as they start turning purple and pink that uh, things aren't working as well as they should. <laughs> so, we're gonna get started here. Got some boxes, gonna unbox stuff, see what we got, and uh, we got cat. We've got our 3D model here. This is the cube that we got to build. Check that out. Uh, you can go back in time and see some of the videos where we actually built this thing and went over it so you can uh, go see more of the details. Just click on videos up at the top of the um, screen there and you can actually uh, get to them or go back to my homepage and you can see the whole list. This is what we got to build. Let's get started.
cold. Fingers cold. Oh, that is so cold. Ow. Major cool pieces here. This is the guard. It goes between the driver and the cube. I guess I'll call it the cube. The fridge, the cube. The cube is a little more Martian sounding. And the doors. Yeah, it's gonna look cool. sort through here. Uh, they call it the erector set for adults and I'm really really happy that I made this choice so far. Um, designed it in CAD, had my measurements, went on their website, ordered everything, precision cut, uh, all came packaged very nicely, very safe, nothing looked bent or hurt other than what I've done to it. Uh, and the time that I think this will save is significant. So we're gonna see but no welding. Uh, what we have are the joints and stuff we got to put together like an erector set. So I'm going to get this all laid out, see all the parts that we got, get them all kind of grouped together so I know what's what. And uh, we'll get started in assembly. I got everything laid out in pretty close to the right position so you can kind of start seeing it take shape here. This is the front of the vehicle. This is the back of the vehicle. This will be the main storage area here. These are the horizontal cross members on each side. You have uh, horizontal cross members for the back. Verticals, verticals. This will be the area where the air conditioner goes and then that storage space there. There'll be a door there and a door in the back. So let's start seeing if we can uh, build this thing up. So, first piece, rubber mallet. Tight fit. Sounds good. Hey, not bad, huh? It took me just a little over an hour to put it all together. Uh, most of the time I spent just trying to remember what I did. Sorry, it's just a little bit off. If I would have just went and got my computer and then measured each piece, I would have had it. But uh, instead I went by memory and I made a few mistakes. The good news is, is if you do make a mistake, it's easy to kind of get it apart, put it back together again. I'm guessing you probably don't want to do that too many times before you have to start using screws to really hold it in there, but aluminum, pretty light, easy to move around, not a huge amount of weight that's going to go on the back of the rig, which is important. 
Ah, so this is where the air conditioner goes and slides in there. I think I may have made a mistake here on how I put it all together. Uh, we'll see on that. There's a lip here I may have messed up on, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Hope you enjoyed uh, me getting this frame put together tonight. Uh, the 8020 Incorporated product uh, did well. I did buy it. It wasn't given to me. Uh, this is a, a purchase, not a sponsorship or anything like that. So uh, pretty happy with the buy so far. We'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.